Hi, this is Richard C. I'm a math tutor here at Wiseant, answering a question submitted by a student. This has to do with exponential functions, which are extremely important in Algebra 2, and they show up a lot on standardized tests like SAT and ACT. So you definitely want to know these. Um, in the beginning of the problem, they're giving us two data points. They're saying after 15 minutes, they had 200 bacteria. And then after 35 minutes, they had 1,200. So we're going to use these two data points to figure out what the equation looks like for this situation. So the general equation is y equals a b to the x, or t. Let me use a t here. We're usually talking about time here. So we'd say 200 equals a b to the 15. And we can say that 1,200 equals a b to the 35. So we have a nice little system of equations. We have two equations with two unknowns, two variables here. I'm going to divide the top by the bottom. So I'm going to get 1,200 divided by 200. which is obviously 6. And that's equal to b to the 35 minus 15 power, which would be b to the a over a cancel. And this gives us b to the 20th power is b. So b itself is very small, uh, the 20th root of 6. OK, so which looks kind of strange to me, but that's what it is. All right, so what was the initial size? Well. To know that, we have to try to find A. A is the initial size. So we know that time is 0. So y equals hmm. We want to go backwards here. Okay, so we have to find A. So uh, 200 equals A. Now B, we just said, is the 20th root of 6. And we want to raise that to the 15th power. So that enables us to solve for A, which is the starting amount. Now this is going to be 6 to the 15 over 20. 15 over 20 is 3 fourths. So let's just use that instead. So I'm going to go on my calculator now, find 200 divided by 6 raised to the 0.75. And this is giving me for A, it's giving me 52. You can't have a partial bacteria, so I'm just going to ignore what's to the right of the decimal point here. So now our equation is y is equal to 52 times 
6, the 20th root of 6 raised to the t power. So that's our that's our formula. Find the doubling period. Okay, well, let's find that. So when fifth, twice, two times 52 is 104. So you could say 104 equals 52 times uh, the 20th root of 6 raised to the t. So 2 is equal to. Let's do something with the 20th root of 6. Let's see how horrible that is. On my calculator. Well, that's not so horrible. So this is 1.094 T. Okay. So we'll just take the log of both sides. Log of 2 equals T times the log of 1.094. So the doubling time is going to be log 2 over log 1.094. So let's get that. So that's giving me 7.7, 7. 7. Uh, 7.74 seconds is the, uh, oh, sorry, minutes. That would be the doubling time. So this is part, let's label these A, B, C, D. So A we got over here, 52. B we got here, the doubling time. Population after 80 minutes would just be Y equals 52 times 1.094 raised to the 80 power. So 1.094. Point oh nine four raised to the eightieth power times fifty two is sixty eight seven sixty eight after eighty minutes. That seems reasonable. You can see the growth here. We just added another data point here, which would be eighty comma 68768 which seems reasonable this thing is growing very quickly so that's part c and then part d when will it reach 1300 so you would just say 1300 equals 52 times 1.094 to the t so first we'll divide out the 52, this gives me 25, and once again we're going to take the log of both sides, Okay, so we'll take the log of 25 and divide that by the log of 1.094. 1.094 1 
0.094. And so T here is going to be roughly 36 minutes. Right, if you think about that answer, oh, I used 1300. I'm supposed to use 13,000. Sorry about that. So 13,000 divided by 52. That's 250. Okay, so let's recalculate this. Log of 250 divided by 250 divided by the log of 1.094 gives me 61, 61 point, well, yeah, 61.5 save minutes. This is another data point in here. If you just think of the uh, XY table for this function. So 61.5 comma 13,000. And that seems reasonable also. So it's kind of a weird problem in the sense of the way it's being presented. Um, but it's not, it's fairly typical for Algebra 2. And you should be able to do this. Uh, maybe you just need to see a couple more of these. Um, but yeah, you should be able to do this pretty, uh, pretty, pretty straightforward manner. Okay, that's it for this one. I hope you uh, got something out of it and that it helped you. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.